Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Monday, January the 4th. Happy New Year, and welcome to our first commentary of 2021. Well, this is going to be an amazing week. You've got elections in Georgia. This is the second part of those elections, the runoff, if you will. And uh, we'll see what happens. I do believe the Republicans are going to win both of those seats, but, you know, I've been wrong before. But I think that the, the emphasis on on the, on the two opponents and the fact that they're so radical, I hopefully will put the two Republicans over the line. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. But the other big story is the very next day, and that is when Senator Cruz of Texas on the Senate side and Representative Brooks of Alabama on the House side put up a challenge to the Electoral College results. Now, I think what Senator Cruz is doing is exactly correct. He's simply saying, look, we're calling for an audit. We're not saying the elections are wrong, but we're just calling for an audit. We would like to see, we would like to confirm to the American people that Joe Biden was elected president. Frankly, the one person in the country who ought to be most supportive of that audit would be Mr. Biden himself. I mean, so that he can finally clear this cloud over his his, uh, his situation right now. I mean, if he be becomes president in a couple of weeks and this issue is still unsettled, it's going to be a real problem. It's going to be a real problem for a president who walks in with such a divided, uh, such a divided country. So I would think the Democrats would be very anxious to clarify this point and at least confirm that uh, Joe Biden was elected president and let's have all the transparency and let's put everything on the table. I'm not afraid of information. If you put everything on the table and Joe Biden confirms his election, hey, I'll be the first one to congratulate him. But at the moment, I have my doubts and a lot of people do. And I think the attitude of many Democrats is sort of like, hey, eat your vegetables, shut up and eat your vegetables. Well, uh, that's no way to explain a controversial presidential election. So it's going to be an exciting week. We'll be talking about it. Thank you for your support. And I'm sure we'll have a lot of videos to do this year. If this is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.